ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dan Bowman from UK BBC Music. Here we are, live at the one and only Mr. Teddy Passions, international recording artist, lovely home here in Macomb County, Eastside today. Oh yeah, oh yeah. At this time, we'll be interviewing Mr. Teddy Passion about the man behind the music, and what Sorry. about him doing Teddy Pendergrass tribute concerts. Teddy, how long have you been singing? Oh, I've been singing for quite some time now. I, I, I've been just basically singing around the city and, and all of that for the last past five years. And uh, before that, I was on the high end. Some people know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, that. oh, wow, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so what artist do you like the most? Well, uh, Teddy is, is one of them, of course. But he, he came to the forefront after my voice changed when I was... Uh, a youngster and everything, and uh, you know, my voice had just changed drastically, and before I got this rascally list about myself, but uh, you know, the Temptations was a great influence on me, as well as Marvin Gaye, as well as, uh, you know, um, the Jackson 5, but James Brown really did it for me. When I see James Brown do what he did, he go to the left, women screaming the holly, go to the right, they screaming the holly, I said, wow, I said, I, I think I can do that for the rest of my life. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hey man, I, I love that new album of yours, A Man Like Me. Oh, thank you. Yeah, You're too yeah. kind. And you You're know, too kind. Yeah, it's doing great over in the UK. So. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. I didn't oh, yeah. know that. <laughs> I didn't yeah, know that's right. great news for me. Well, yeah, what do you feel about that? <laughs> oh, man. I, I feel elated, man. I'm going to have to place a call to Phil Dick and find out what's going on over there and stuff like that. It's like now, um, when it comes down to, 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 you know, the United States, I wasn't too keen on trying to put a record out in the United States right there. You know, I got CDs where people buy them from me personally and from other outlets and stuff like that of that nature. But other than that, as far as me, myself, personally, you know, trying to put it out in the U.S. myself, you know, it's all about worldwide distribution. So when you sing, you know, the ladies, they go crazy. So what do you think about that? <laughs> oh, 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 I think that was... <laughs> oh, look, that's part of the show and I do it for the people I do it for the ladies because if the man can't do it I do it for them all I do is get them ready for uh, Tom, Dick, Ad or Freddie Harry or Freddie <laughs> yep. and you know you look like Teddy you Thank sound you. like Teddy Thank you. you move like Teddy <laughs> well uh, the passion name came about the name Teddy came by my cousin, uh, Maestro Steve. He, he turned around and said, man, uh, no, 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 you can't be Bub, man. You got to be Teddy. Teddy P. Teddy P. So I had to put something with it. You know, I had to put, like, you know, Teddy Passion. The P stand for passion. You know, so people won't be trying to say, oh, he's trying to be just like Teddy. No, there's only one Teddy Pendergrass. Only one. And I can't be him. He's gone. But I'm holding the torch for the brother, and I'm doing the best that I can. Because people love his music, his legacy, his life. They love what he did. And that's something you can't take away from him. That's priceless. Yeah, certainly, yeah. Hey, you've got this uh, show that everybody's looking forward to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's coming up on October the 14th. It's yes, uh, the, uh, buddy. Yeah, so, uh, hey, give me, uh, tell me more about this show. Oh, yes, it's, it's going to be a great show. Uh, it's going to be October the 14th at the Athena Banquet Hall. We're going to, to have live band there. Amuka, uh, she's going to bring it. She's played with uh, Mary Jane Girls, and she's played with uh, uh, the Funkadelics and uh, Parliament as well. And she's an artist in her own right, out of New York. And it's going to be a great show. we got a treat for you. I'm going to be doing It Don't Hurt Now by Terry Pennyrazzo. He's never done live before by Terry himself. And I will be doing Two Hearts with a lovely lady, Rita G., a vocalist I come to know and like and a friend of me and my wife. And uh, we're going to try to make some things happen. Yeah, so it sounds like you're going to do something new and different at this show that you've never done before, yes? Oh, yes, yes. Well, you know, Two Hearts is the song by Teddy Pendergrass and Stephanie Mill. And it's a very beautiful song. And, you know, uh, duets are the it thing still today. <laughs> so, Teddy, i got to ask you this. It's a question that all the uh, folks in the UK want to want to know the answer to. I've been told that Phil Dick, the 
promoter is going to bring you over to the UK. How true is that? Well, that's that's very, very, very true. I, I, I've come to know Bill quite some time now. We've been in communications and everything. There's nothing actually strong right now with the contract, just his word and my word. And uh, he, he, he won't let me bring my band, but he's going to have a band. Of, he said, well, you know, you got to scrap the band, but we're going to we're going to have a band over there for you. We just want you and your background singers. You come on over, you know, and do you know, your workout and your series of shows. And, your, you know, I said, all right, all right. And, you know, you do your sound check and you'll get you'll make a lot of quit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we're certainly looking forward to that over in the UK. Yes. yes so, uh, so what's the name of the band? The name of the band is the Passion Band All Stars. They consist of various artists uh, and, and, and musicians that are around uh, in the city. You know, um, you got my man Trent, uh, Pablo that plays guitar. You got Mark Reed. You got Timekeeper. You got my man on the sax, Marty. And uh, two keyboard players, bass player. Uh, we got my man Mark Brown on bass, so you know we got a, we got a we got a real arsenal, you know, strong kick ass band that's gonna really really make an impact and bring that Teddy sound back. Excellent. So what about the uh, so what happened to the backing singers? Background singers. Uh, this time we're not gonna use them because I'm in search of background singers. If it's anybody that is willing to uh, audition to be background singers, I'm willing to audition them and pay them. Very handsome as well. Well, I can imagine they're going to be lining up to join the band. <laughs> oh my God. So what about other artists? Are you planning on producing some uh, other local talent? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the, well, well, matter of fact, the Passion Band, I'm trying to get them together now to, to start doing some things where they can be marketed individually as well. And what I'm trying to do is now, like I said, I'm trying to all these background singers, and I want to try to turn them into some like some female OJs, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, be where they're, they're individually strong, not so much like uh, Beyonce and, you know, the group that they had or anything like that, or Supremes. I said OJs. <laughs> so the secret's female. out, Teddy, you know. Okay. You're touring the U.S. When's that tour going to kick off and where? Uh, hopefully, hopefully we will be doing something in Arizona and definitely oh, in nice. Las Vegas. You know, I'm looking forward to it. I've never been to Las Vegas before. I've never been to Arizona before. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very optimistic and I'm real giddy about it. I'm, I'm really, really excited. I hope that, you know, uh, we give a kick-ass show. Well, I know we're going to get a kick-ass show out there. <laughs> Yes. So, Teddy, we've heard that there's a movie deal on the table about a book. That I is a don't movie. hear about that. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, we know that one, don't we? Yeah, it's a book from an old, from, uh, I guess here, From Gold to Glory by Mr. Jerry Cummings. Cummings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jerry Cummings. Oh, yes, Jerry Cummings, yes. yeah. He's a great friend of yours, isn't he? Yes, yes. Jerry Cummings. Jerry is a good friend of mine. I come to know Jerry through, through Facebook and through uh, Giovanni Rogers and and David Washington, and uh, we, we we got a chance to finally meet, and uh, we're going to meet again this Friday as well in the recording studios in, in Southfield. He has very, very important people that are very interested in me and want to meet me as well. He's one of the last sole surviving members of Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes, and uh, he was touring with the group from 72 to 1980, and uh, now, you know, he's been doing minister work and stuff like that, and then now he's back into this music thing that he wants to do with Detroit, and he loves Detroit so, to the degree that he's willing to help certain artists that have very unique talents, so sort of like myself, I'm not bragging anything, this is what he told me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, so, you know, he said that, you know, that's that's what he wants to do, and he's going to be bringing a whole lot of things to the forefront of me, of course, that's what the movie thing is about, the, the gold to glory book, you know, uh, it's number one seller, uh, Amazon can't keep it, I just ordered, well, my, I just got mine, it's going to be tomorrow, uh, 
It's a tell-all book about his life, and it talks about his experiences in life with Harold Melvin and Blue Notes. And I'm quite sure a lot of people are going to be excited. A lot of people don't even know about the things about when they took pictures out on Bell Isle for the, the To Be True album. They don't know about Jerry Cummins, you know, when he first came, he, his first time ever singing was right here in Detroit. And Detroit received him, loved him as, as if he uh, was one of their own. And it was a beautiful thing, you know. And, and he has a lot to say about this city. Great to hear. <laughs> so, Teddy Passion, mm -hmm. would you be willing to take on the role of Teddy Pendergrass? <laughs> oh, it sucks. Oh. Uh, of course, the, the contract has to be right. The money would have to be right. Oh, of course. Yeah. You know, uh, I have no problem acting. Uh, I, I have acted before. Um, you know, Tyrese Gibson is doing a movie now on Teddy Pendergrass, and Lee Daniels is directing it. I don't know what, what they're going to do with it and have they uh, got it up the line, up, up in line for it to be released and have it been rated yet or anything of that nature. But from what I'm told, that it's going to be a great, great, great movie. So it's nearly time to wrap up this interview, but I've got to ask you some uh, big questions here. Okay. <laughs> so Teddy, come on, tell me, have you ever had any women's panties thrown at you on stage? <laughs> you Just like the real man, man. Teddy Pendergrass. <laughs> These questions. <laughs> yes, I have. I'm not going to lie. I have. And that happens periodically they get so excited you know, and uh, you know they throw them up there now, I don't take them home and <laughs> I don't you know do anything with them you know they throw them up there and if I happen to catch one I look at it I might play it off and snip it and throw it aside and not be cool <laughs> or anything at night you know but it's 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 wild they do some wild pretty wild things yeah yeah <laughs> So, if, uh, if anybody wants to book you to play today, uh, how do we get in touch with your promoters? Oh, uh, you can, you can, reach, you can uh, reach Jerry Cummings, Jerry Cummings uh, Enterprises, and uh, you can call any other numbers through Jerry Cummings, or you can turn around and call 313-687-3830, and someone will answer you and get back with you. Okay, you heard it out there. That's how you get in contact with Teddy Passion. One last question, hey, yes, before sir. we wrap up. Okay. Do you have any other family members that are into music? Yes, yes. My brother that passed away, uh, Terry Tillman and Kenny Tillman, they were musicians as well, and they, they did what they could, and uh, they took it as far as they could. You know, and uh, they wanted to take it a little farther, but... You know, I think I was the only one so far that's <laughs> prospered in this area of music. So, you know, it's great, you know, to, to be able to really, really uh, have that understanding that I did come from a musical family. Hey, Teddy. It's been great talking to you. I finally get to sit on the couch. I finally get to interview you. And I've yes. loved every moment of it. Thanks yes. very much. It's been a while, man. We <laughs> chat. I appreciate it. Yeah. It's been a pleasure for us and for the folks in the UK. Look forward to seeing him on tour, hopefully soon over there in London and around England, Wales and Scotland. Thanks very much and good night. Good night. <laughs>